Here we are at Winco Foods, my favorite store, and uh, we're going to take a little walk through the store and talk about food choices. So our first stop here is the produce department. This is like the greatest place in the store. You could uh, you could hardly go wrong if the majority of your diet came out of this department. And for the most part, I'm fine with fruit. There's a few fruits like uh, pineapple. You really ought to do your homework on and realize how much sugar you're getting. These really aren't part of our native diet anywhere in the world, and they are. Uh, boatload of sugar. Most of us grew up eating these, regular potatoes. You really ought to learn to eat these. Christy and I do. They're much better for you. Sweet potatoes, much better for you. Um, much lower glycemic index. They taste better, more fiber in them, but a much healthier choice with a sweet potato. General rule. If it's green, it's good. So knock yourself out eating all this wonderful stuff as often as you want. Nobody ever got fat in this department. On the other hand, plenty of people have gotten fat in this department. This is an aisle you should try to avoid. If you're in here, I'm rarely in this aisle. And this stuff, no way, forget it. And if you're giving it to your kids, you're making a big mistake. This is my second favorite place at the store, the meat department. And uh, pretty much you can't go wrong here either, in my opinion. Christy and I are definitely carnivores. On this side of the aisle, it's like the worst thing you could possibly do to yourself. Eating prepared, processed foods. Everything's loaded with sugar. We never eat this stuff, ever. On the other hand, frozen vegetables, they're awesome. So if your favorite veggie's not in season, and you want to eat it frozen, there's absolutely nothing wrong with frozen vegetables. We eat this stuff year round. My favorite place in the store is the dairy section. I know there's some controversy about dairy. Some people eat it well, some people don't. Cottage cheese, sour cream, something that trips a lot of people up. They think, oh, yogurt, it's healthy. I'll feed my kids yogurt. And I see a lot of women over here on this section loading up their cart. Well, guess what? It's Greek yogurt, right? 16 grams of sugar. Here's Tillamook Farm style Greek, 14 grams of sugar. So think twice if you think this is a healthy choice. Now, if you do want to eat yogurt, you get the plain Greek. This has seven grams of sugar and all of that came from the milk. There's no added sugar. But that's about the best you're gonna do with yogurt. So this is another aisle. Um, first of all, I never shop in. Should avoid like the plague. In fact, if you're feeding this to your kids, you're you're getting them a healthy start toward type 2 diabetes. This stuff is all sugar. And feed your kids eggs and bacon or something, fruit, anything but this. This is uh, this ought to be against the law. I said frozen vegetables are great. Canned vegetables are just as good. Maybe not quite as fresh tasting, but there's nothing in these. You know, this is green beans and water. And um, so if you want to keep some of those around and eat them or feed them to your kids, great. And oh, last but not least, this is probably the most tempting place in the store because it smells insanely good. But nothing good can come from this. Bread is basically sugar once it uh, hits your stomach and your bloodstream. And uh, we don't eat it. It's not part of our diet. And it was not part of our native diet. It goes without saying. This aisle, never. Avoid it completely. Nothing good can come in this aisle. That's Miles' take on the grocery store. There's definitely places you want to focus. I get um, the vast majority of our food from those first three places we talked about. The produce section, the meat section, and the dairy section. There's aisles in the store I never walk down and never will. And uh, you should do the same. So I hope this helps.